For all of you Nelson Dam removal fans, here's a one-year update for the project. I was able to get out on Thursday, May 9, 2024, to do some aerial inspection of the floodplain, Ruffin Channel, and Sluiceway. The site has been irrigated approximately three days a week during the first growing season. I noticed that the willows were doing well across the site, but the ones located closer towards the main channel were doing exceptionally well. Wetland vegetation plantings were doing just as well at the lower end of the site. Although still alive and growing, upland plantings along the levee are experiencing various levels of growth rate. The upland hydro seeding appears to have the lowest success rate of all the plantings. However, the native seed sprayed at the far north end of the project is growing well. The South Pilot Channel was activated multiple times for several days throughout the first year and has already started to show signs of erosion and material sorting. Many volunteer cottonwoods took hold the first year and are still growing, while new seedlings were seen at the lower end of the channel. The North Pilot Channel did not get activated at the river inlet during the first year, but some backwater occurred at the lower end towards the roughened channel. On the upshot, non-native plant species didn't appear to occlude the North Pilot Channel, which is a great sign. The Sluiceway and Ruffin Channel Crest accumulated woody debris placed by high water events, which can be expected, but didn't appear to affect the structure at all in terms of stability or operability. The primary and secondary channel areas below the crest also accumulated woody debris as a result of these events. Thanks for watching and tune in next time for updates.